Hi Stays, welcome back to my channel. Today we have three more B-sides. We're doing Boxer, 19, and Chronosaurus. Um, so I think I've heard like a lot of things about all three of these songs. Um, I think Boxer being the one that's talked about the most. So Boxer is a street version while the other two are like actual videos. So um, I've seen a clip of Boxer, like a stage performance, I guess. And I want to say it's, is it Changbin and Lino? Um, I think, if y'all know which one I'm talking about. Um, but I want to say it's those two. And then like, and maybe Felix breaks them apart. That sounds correct. If that's wrong, y'all let me know. But if y'all know what, what video I'm, I'm talking about or what part I'm talking about. Yeah, um, so there's a street version for Boxer, and so the other two, um, at least with 19, I want to say Hani wrote that, maybe, I want to say either Han or Chung, Chungbin wrote that, um, so if I'm wrong, y'all let me know. But I want to say I saw somewhere that they did. One of those two did. But I'm leaning more towards Han. So if either one of them wrote it, it's going to be emotional. Because for some odd reason, their songs are always emotional. But for me personally, Han's always hits a little different. Um, but I also haven't heard uh, Changmin's Streetlight. So, uh, yeah. So that could change things for me, but like with Slump and with uh, Happy and just like his other songs, Han's always like hit a little different. So, um, but yeah, I'm excited to get into this. Um, so with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Ah. Okay, Annyeong, I not know you didn't be an I can't believe they filmed this at a playground with other children also playing. So it definitely is Felix who says it. <gasps> That's so cute. Oh my goodness. Puppy. <laughs> I'm gonna drum a kitchen like pick your soul now you dally Wanna name the chat chin will go in and add Yes <laughs> The dog is killing me with how serious they're being Sorum Dunya Boxer He's so dramatic. <laughs> I love everything about this. Oh, 
boxer. I don't s boxer. <laughs> You know, I don't know what fit this is for Kenjin, but I'm here for it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Who's that? I'm so... Y'all are so... Interesting, to say the least. Like... <laughs> I'm not even... Really sure what that was. But you know what? It was... It, it, I, the song slaps. I just couldn't get over... Them being so serious and being like, yeah, boxer. And then all these little kids and the little dog running around. <laughs> like, I just, I couldn't take any of it seriously. Uh, but I feel like the song with, like, choreo on stage would go so hard. So I'm interested to see, like, a, a stage performance of boxer. I also loved all the video game little matches that they did in between he had you being dramatic as ever uh when he like flipped his hair and then just like hopped off the uh one of the little playground equipment <laughs> min sung being min sung the entire time uh, y'all are just y'all are too much them playing with the dog like halfway through being the softest things ever was so cute and then dancing with the kids oh my goodness they really took like stray kids seriously. Like they said, we are we are kids. <laughs> so, but that was so cute. I don't I don't need too much of stray kids playing with children because it'll hurt my heart. So, but with that being said, we're gonna go on to nineteen. Like I said, I'm super interested in this one, um, because I think one of them wrote it um i'm gonna laugh if that's not true but i like want to say it is kind of true so but with that being said let's go ahead and get into 19. Ooh. I can't say pizza again without thinking about Domino's. Pay attention, 
Future 나이가 몇인 돼도 됐어 옷 있음 나는 청소년이란 명찰을 뗏고 믿지 맘에 됐어 자연스러워 계속 불편해하지 마 그래 모두 똑같이 다 그랬어 매번 되고 싶던 나의 숨을 난둘 것 같은 과정을 겪은 건데 나만 이리 불안할까 아닌 다른 사람 같게 오늘이 엄마 아빠 형도 똑같은 마음으로 이 나를 보냈을까 그랬을까 왜 이렇게 너무나 바르게 느껴지는 걸까 이 하루가 딱 여기서 새해 새고 나면 모든 게 꿈처럼 다 사라지고 나만 다시 그때로 Back 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 좀더 전으로 내가 매일 따따따따따따 쓰던 그때로 지금이 지나가면 멀어질까봐 지금의 나를 다시 못 볼까봐 I just wanna go back 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 다시 그때로 Rapper Lino hits their friend. <laughs> That one was interesting. That that song is like that vibe is like my kind of vibe. Where it's just like super chill. Um but the rap was still it wasn't how do I describe this? It wasn't so much aggressive as it was like assertive, if that makes sense. Um, I like this song. Ooh. The song like gave me chills, but like it just in a in a different kind of way. I don't know. The vibe of this song is just like very. Oh, I don't even know how to describe it. I just just know whatever vibe this is. I really like it. The like just like the darker. And it wasn't even like really a a, a super dark concept. But it was just like. It's different. Um. I, t I told you, if Han wrote this, the, the Han's songs just hit different for me. I don't know what it is, but um, I'm trying to see if, they, if they'll if tell us. They probably won't. But, yeah. Yeah, no, it won't. Um, but this song is so good. It's just, it, it just like, it hits. The song just hits. I don't know how, how else to describe it. I feel like I'm doing a really poor job. Um, there were a couple of things I wanted to talk about. Hyunjin's rapping. I don't know why the, it's just like, even this part at like two minutes, around two minutes. Yeah, it's just his, his, his voice when he raps it's just it's it just fits so well to the song um like i said in or in a previous reaction he's very good at manipulating his voice to fit whatever style the song calls for um so it's just like hyunjin's part always hits no matter what what it is and that's just like something really cool that hyunjin can do but this song was very like angsty that's probably why I like it, because it's angsty. Um, but oh, I was just so good. I really enjoyed this one. Uh, I told you, this is this is. I keep saying like there's something about Han's songs that hit different, but I'm still not 100 percent sure Han wrote this. But if he did, it it, it makes sense. 
So I'm going to go on to Chronosaurus. With a name like that, this has got to be like fantastic. So I'm I'm kind of expecting like super hype. I can't wait for them to prove me wrong and it not be hype at all. Um, but I told you it's like a it's like a fun game. You you think you're it's going to be one thing and um it's nothing like how you think it's going to be and it's it's just like fun for them to prove you wrong. So, but with that being said, let's go ahead and get into Chronosaurus. Chronosaurus. I can't pronounce things today. Oof. Different style. This is a different style than I'm used to them here. Like. Chan come through? Was that Lena who growled? I, I need to go back and for research purposes, I need to go back and check that again because I don't, I don't know what happened there, but I was just vibing, listening to the song and then whatever that was came in. It was. <laughs> I was not expecting that from Lino. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> that like. I was just like. The song kind of put me in a trance. Because it was. It's very interesting. I really like. I don't even know what genre of. 
or style you can call describe this as. Um, but I was really into the song and listening to it, and <laughs> that just threw me off <laughs> so much. Okay. <laughs> oh. But, um, yeah, I like this song. I'm so sorry. I, like, am so thrown off after that. Let me try to, like, regain my thoughts. <laughs> um, there was a part where Sungmin, um, I guess Woo, Woo Jin was singing, but then Sungmin added, like, delayed vocals. Um. Uh, but, like, at first it sounded like an ad-lib, but, um, I guess it was just, like, basically just him, it's just a delayed part in the, the song, um, where he comes in singing a different verse, or a different line after, uh, Woojin starts, but, um, love Sungman's vocals on that part. Yes! Yes, sir. Come through. Chan had some really pretty parts in this. Um, so I was like kind of right with this one. It was like it, it had instances where it was very hyped, but then the vocals came in and changed um, the sound of the song. And so <laughs> it's like one of those where you're like really hyped up um, and then the, those come in and you just kind of want to like sit and relax. And just appreciate the heavenly vocals that are being, that are blessing your ears. I really like the instrumentation at the beginning. With the clock. I like this one. Ian, Ian also did really well on the vocal parts of this song. I thought Ian's voice really fit the song, actually. I like the like. I don't. I don't know if it's like a a real trap set recording or drum set. Um, those are it's the same thing, but. Um, a real drum set recording or if it's like a drum set sample but like the heavy kick bass or not kick bass yeah it's a kick bass um I, it's been a, a long time since i've been on a drum set so um but uh just like created emphasis to the beat and i really like that um it sounds like a, a real recording of it um, and not so much a sample. So if it is a sample, that's... But yeah, it was a very like kind of rocky kind of song. So, but that has been these three B-sides. They were all very different, but also kind of similar. Um, for, to kind of better explain this, um, so, uh, because I was, not was, I still am, because I'm an SM stan, all SM groups have that signature SM sound. No matter what they're doing or what style they're doing. It sounds like an SM group. Like you can, you cannot know where a company is from, and listen to a song and be like, "That sounds like they would come from SM." It's the same thing with Stray Kids. They do so many different genres, but it still sounds like Stray Kids. Um, it just still has their like signature feel of the song, and so I think that's one of the things I appreciate the most about them. I'm not. I don't listen to, like, even though, like, Never Ending Story and, like, Victory Song sound completely different, they both give off that Stray Kids vibe. Um, 
So, but if I had to pick a favorite out of these three, ooh, I feel like it would depend on my mood again. I will say like 19 hits my style of music the most. Like my favorite style of music, it's just like I don't I don't know how to describe it. It's just it's not R&B, but it like kind of gives that feel of how I feel when I listen to R&B, like K-pop music. So, um yeah, but I really liked all three. I'm still interested to see a Sage of Boxer because as of right now, Boxer is just a really cute song in my mind and I know the stage is not like that at all. So y'all like have to recommend me some Boxer stages so I can stop thinking about like cute, precious, adorable like kids and puppies and stray kids and all the stuff running around playing on a playground. <laughs> when I hear the song, so. But with that being said, I'm super excited. Uh, let me try to see what next B-sides I'm getting into. Um, Is it TMT? I still can't really see. Astronaut. And you can stay. So those are gonna be three. I haven't heard a lot about TMT, like really that much at all. Um, So I'm really interested to see that one, but um, heard a ton about Astronaut because I remember when I did, um, I don't remember which one it was when Astronaut came out. Let me check real quick. I guess it might have been either Double Knot or Levanter, um, but when I did that one, y'all were all like, Emily, you have to go back and do Astronaut, like, as soon as possible. Um, so I'm finally getting to Astronaut. Um, so y'all will be happy about that. Um, and You Can Stay. I know You Can Stay is, like, a super, super big song to stays and to stray kids and, like, super important. Um, and those are, like, my favorite type of songs. So, like, like, EXO's Promise and NCT's From Home. Like, those type of songs have, like, special places in my heart. So, if You Can Stay gives off the same vibe as those two songs, like, it, my heart is gonna melt on camera and I'm going to be really sentimental. Uh, so, uh, because the first time I heard both of those songs, I cried and luckily I wasn't on camera for those. So, um, that may be why I cried because I might not have cried if I were on camera. I don't know. The like from home rearranged version with their like debut videos on it. I, I was sobbing, so. But You Can Stay, uh, I know is, like, super important to, like, everybody a part of this as a whole. Like, Stray Kids stays, everybody. So, I am super excited about that one. That's probably the one I'm most anxious about next time. I'm, like, starting to get into, like, the double knot and... Oh, wait, they have special videos, too? I forgot about that. Oh, dang. I don't know. How am I supposed to do special videos now? I really gotta go back and, uh, rearrange these. But I don't have very many B-sides left, excluding, like, the, the special videos. I think I'm gonna do the special videos after I do, um, what's it called? The rest of the B-sides since I've already seen them. Um, because if I do that, I have the three for next time. Plus, I don't know what this one is, but from viewing from the thumbnail, I think I've seen it. Um, I think this is Blueprint, which, whew, I heard that song at KCON and immediately fell in love with it. So good. So Blueprint, Hello Stranger, X and any. So I really only have like seven B sides left. That's not bad. So, um, but with that being said, I thoroughly enjoyed these. Um, like I said, thank you guys for the love and support of the channel. 
um love talking to you guys even though it's it takes me a couple of days sometimes but that's besides the point um and talking to you guys on twitter um love the kids can't wait for this comeback i don't think this is going to be out by the time the comeback hits um uh, but um if it hasn't just know as i'm editing this i'm probably like hella vibe into the entire album so um but with that being said i will see you guys next time bye stays <laughs>